Laser output is good. Drilling will take some time, but there's no other way into the temple. We felt like for StarCraft II, the single player experience was really an area we could try to do a little bit of innovation in, something that was a little bit different than we'd done before. We worked really hard, obviously, on trying to make sure that we had a great storyline that had a lot of really cool cinematics, and also to make sure that we had these really great sort of in-game moments that really made you feel like you were in control, and that you sort of see all the weird aspects of the StarCraft universe take you to the very strange and exotic places that maybe we haven't had a chance to show you before, either because, you know, we didn't have the technology back in the day, and now we really do. Those Protoss cannons will tear us a new one if we try to advance. We've really got some missions here that are very, very different from any other missions that you've seen before and very, very different from one another. So when you sit down to play a StarCraft II mission, you don't really know what you're going to get and it's going to really force you to think creatively and try some new tactics, try some new units, maybe sort of push you out of your comfort, comfort zone as a commander and really make you sort of try on some new, new abilities you haven't used before to sort of challenge this new mission. For the Terran campaign, obviously, we're focused on Rainer's Raiders, right? And he's sort of this mercenary pirate um, rebel working with all kinds of scum and villainy that he sort of gathered together so he can sort of battle his way across the stars. He's very concerned about money. He's very concerned about um, hiring more mercenaries. He's trying to figure out how he can use the technology from these other two exotic races that he's battling against to sort of add to the firepower of his own forces. These are obviously not the concerns of a Zerg, uh, you know, game or a Protoss game. So we're gonna have sort of different mechanics for those games, and we're still sort of working out what those might be. You know, for Kerrigan and for the Zerg, we might have something that's a little bit more sort of uh, DNA-based or evolution-based. For the Protoss, we might have something more about sort of regathering the lost tribes of the Protoss and trying to sort of form a coalition that can survive all of the terrors that the Protoss universe is throwing at them. Sir, the Taldarim are mobilizing their forces against us. There's, you know, 29 missions in the campaign. There's all kinds of choices about how you want to play through it. There's all kinds of choices in terms of the different types of technologies that you can purchase, the different kinds of research that you can get, and really nothing you know, you can read in an article or, or see on the web will make up for just sitting down and playing the game and getting to experience all of these components working together to create sort of a whole experience of you as Jim Rayner battling your way across the StarCraft universe. I'm certainly hopeful that the fans are really enjoying the beta right now. We're certainly enjoying playing against the fans internally. We hope they're having a good time. We're going to continue to work on the balance for the beta, and we're really excited to get this game into your hands, you know, in the coming months. When you get a hold of the solo play experience, we really hope the fans enjoy uh, playing it just as much as we've enjoyed making it.